Hey everyone, welcome back to Hasasha Motivated Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, watch my channel always. Today we are diving deep into the world of Windows commands. So let me give you some of the basic navigation and control key commands. We have control plus C, stroke control plus X, or control plus V. Control plus C that will copy. Control X will cut and control V will paste. Yeah, so those ones are well known, common everywhere. Even a P1 kid in Nassau knows how to use those commands. We have control Z. Control Z, some call it Z. Then we have control Y. Control Z will undo, I mean you've typed some word in your document and you want to go back to the previous word. So these ones work hand in hand, control Z and control Y. One is undo, the other is redo. So view the previous one, control Z. Control Z. Then to see the new word, control Y. Undo and redo. Here we have another basic command, which is control A. This will select all your items, text files, assuming you are in Windows. Yeah. Uh, control F. This will open the find dialog to search within documents or browsers. So if I click control F from here in the word document, it will help me. It will give me the box where I can search. Then we'll go to control W. This one will close the active window or tab. Another alternative to Alt F4. Alt F4 will also close. It will even shut down your windows. Anyway, that was just a glimpse of what we are going to look at. So now it's time to dive in to the basic, basic, basic commands we've come to share with you today. Let's get started. Yeah, the very first shortcut I've come to share with you. First up, meet the task manager. Task manager. No more struggling with unresponsive apps. Freezing apps. All you have to do is to click Control Shift Escape. Control plus Shift plus Escape to access your task manager and regain control of your system. Let's see how this command works. We are going to click Control Shift Escape. It will take me to the task manager direct like you see. So here you can look for uh, that process that is disturbing you, that is freezing, that you're tired of. Then you select it. Mm. After selecting it from here, you restart. Or when you select a real document to share your end task. Mm. So you select it, and then you click end task. When you click end task, that process will vanish. 
the next command we are going to navigate between open applications effortlessly the shortcut command will be alt plus tab it's like having a digital switcher at your fingertips so when you click alt plus tab this helps to switch you can be able to switch to your open windows assume you want to open uh, idm yes it will help you to open idm just have to just select it either use the tab key tab keeps on moving to the next open window like that like that like that yeah so it enables you to switch very fast instead of clicking start open uh, this will save you some seconds all right let's go to the next key command the next key command we have windows plus x are you ready for a power boost windows plus x opens a menu packed with essential tools from the control panel to device manager windows x so when you click windows x this is the menu we are talking about it has <coughs> shortcuts that can help you customize or work with the windows very fast device manager takes you straight to the device manager network connections disk management computer management it also has the task manager again you can search you can run you can shut down your computer you can go back to the desktop very fast the next command will be is finding the ip address of your computer do you need to find just press windows r then in the search bar there you will type cmd cmd when you enter it will open uh, a new window a command prompt window so in this command prompt window you type ipconfig one word then you enter when you enter i'm not on the network so i'm not able to see my ip address but if you're using internet your ip address you will see your ip address windows plus d is the next command have you opened very many tabs and you have no way of going to your desktop it happens to all of us it happens to everyone so the quickest shortcut would be windows plus d let's try it out let me open very many very many very many apps here yeah so when i say windows d it will take me straight to my desktop then i can access the file i want then go back to my document yeah let's go to the next command windows left windows right how does it work you open very many tabs here windows left you see that are you seeing how it works windows left you want to work within various tabs various windows so that is windows left then windows right we'll take your windows right we'll take your tab you see that yeah so you'll be able to navigate to the tab that you want easily the windows tab 
so that is it for uh, windows right and windows left let's proceed to the next command windows plus l locks your computer windows plus l will lock your computer securing your work and giving you a breather i want to do that on mine because it will lock up my computer so you can try it out windows l to lock up your computer are you tired of working you're going for lunch windows l next command this is my favorite capture your screen with windows shift yes do you want to capture your screen most of us take our phones and take a screenshot on a screen yet you can make a screenshot using a simple command using the windows plus shift plus s let's try this out I'll take a screenshot of these commands click the windows button shift and s when i click it to bring me this option you see it's give it it's asking me to select the area that i want to take that i want to screenshot i'll take the section that i want to screenshot <clears throat> so the screenshot will be saved in my images in pictures under screenshots by so doing you've saved time we have another one which does the same we have the sniping tool meet the sniping tool capture your screenshots with precision annotate and share like a pro just type sniping tool in the start menu so here we are sniping this double p sniping before you even complete windows suggests this then you can click sniping tool then uh, to use it you just come to new then it will help, it will give you it will tell you to select the area that you want to snipe so i want to snipe assuming i want to snipe i think assuming i want to take this part here uh, i've taken the screenshot it has options to it has mods free form snipe rectangular or window snipe uh -huh. <clears throat> so our interest is to save this to save it you just type the name and it will save in the location that you've selected so that is the sniping tool for you next we have disk cleanup reclaim space and keep your system snappy by typing clean manager clean mgr when you click clean mgr it will take you to disk cleanup then you can click disk cleanup which disk do you want to check do you want to clean up let's go with c then it will scan to see what's eating up your space you give it some time to scan so when it is done you'll see what is eating up your space then you can uh-huh here it gives me what is eating up my space oh i think my system is very fine 
yeah, my system is very fine. I don't need to delete anything. But you may be having a space issue. Clean MGR, clean manager. So here you just stick, then you can clean. Okay, that's how that one works. We go to the next one. When you press Windows plus the full stop, Windows plus the full stop, Windows plus dot. This will, this is called the emoji picker. Mm. If you want to add fun to your messages and documents on your Windows system, you just click when you're in your document. Mm. Assuming I want to add some emojis here. I'll just click Windows full stop. <laughs> Windows full stop. Then I can select the emojis I want to use. You see that? You see that? You get? Yeah. So that is how we use emojis on Windows. You see that? Even the signs are here. You don't need to go to Google and copy the sign. That is the shortcut. Windows dot. Yeah, so these are the ones we've added. I think it's a nice tool for us. If you find this guide helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Sasha Motivated. For more tech tips and guides, thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.